Defense Ministry and the Armed Forces have jointly developed a domestically built T-90 MBT. This new tank is undergoing final tests before being delivered to the Army Ground Force. Hadari said the tank is equipped with a new gun stabilizer and chemical defense systems and was conceived as a weapon for modern warfare. The Iranian Army Ground Force will reportedly take delivery of the first batch of the tanks in the Iranian month of Mer, September 22 to October 21. The efforts to build the tank domestically have been ongoing since Iran announced it would do so without Russian help. The Islamic Republic Ground Corps had announced it would receive at least 800 of the new tanks, which despite no assistance from Russia, do closely resemble the T-90s. The tank was dubbed the Karer, Striker, when the program was announced in 2017, but in the most recent announcements on state TV, that name wasn't used. The Kara was stated to have a crew of three would feature composite armor with explosive reactive armor ERA, panels on both the turret and hull, just like the T-90. Its main armament is a 125mm 2A46M Smoothbur gun with a stabilizer for its main armament. Given the fact that it is so similar visually, it is easy to see what it has been previously described as Russian technology with a bad paint job. The Karer is essentially a clone of the Russian-designed T-90s MBT and is reportedly far more advanced than the Zulfiker, the MBT, that was named after the sword of the first religious, spiritual and political Shia leader, Hazrat Ali. It was first conceived by Iranian Army Brigadier General Mir Yams and based on the American M48 and M60 and Soviet T-72 tanks. The Zulfiker entered production in 1996, and there were two main variants produced. In May 2010 the Iranian army announced that it produced a new and upgraded Zulfiker 3. In building the Karer, or whatever the tank is actually known as today, the Iranians have shown that they were, in fact, serious about moving away from its reliance on Russian imports to bolster its military arsenal. While it has shown that it can domestically build a tank on par with the T-90, it is still essentially just a copy of a very solid design, not an original concept build from the ground up. The tank is at the level of the most advanced global tanks and can be compared to the Russian T-90 tank, even having superiority over it," former Defense Minister Hassian Dekin was quoted in Shabaston News. It is a tank that, if we want to compare, is on the American Abrams scale. The T-90 has been in service since the 1990s and the Abrams since the 1980s, but both have received major upgrades since then. Deccan played a central role in developing the latest Carer line of tanks. According to Press TV they are built in the city of Dorit in Loriston province. IRGC Commander Mohammad Pakbar told Shabaston News that the IRGC is excited about the tank if it ever makes its final debut. It is supposed to have an electro-optical fire control system and the ability to fire at moving targets at night and in the day, as well as be able to shoot missiles with laser guidance. Like the T-90 its man gun is a 125mm cannon. The tank is supposed to have armor effective against RPG-7s and similar ordnance. So far Iran hopes to build 800 of the tanks to bolster its armed forces, while at the same time Iran claims that its expanding arsenal of weapons does not make it a threat to its neighbors. The tank, like Iran's claims of having built a fighter jet and new ships, may end up being merely a bad copy of a foreign weapon system. Iran has shown in the past that while it has impressive achievements in ballistic missiles and missile technology, that larger weapons platforms built domestically face many hurdles.
Iran also has been unable to test these systems against an opponent since it is unwilling to confront the US, its main enemy, on the field of battle, and its other enemies consist of terrorist groups such as ISIS. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere, the report says. Iran's Deputy Defense Minister General Qasem Tekizadeh discussed the latest version of the tank alongside a new Salmer cruise missile on January 13. The carer was destined to be delivered both to the Army and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC. Thank you.